Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. This is the Shrimpy Miggy channel and I'm Helen. Thanks for joining me here. I'm guessing you're watching because you want to know about bangs. My thinking is you should get them. I've got lots of reasons why. Let's get right into them. Let's first of all talk about some of the myths around bangs. I'm here to dispel them. I've had bangs many, many times in my life. I've got them again. Got them about a couple weeks ago. Super happy with them. I've also not had bangs for a lot of my life and I was happy with that too, but every once in a while I feel like it's nice to sh shake things up. And the thing about bangs, tell me if I'm wrong, is once you get it in your head that you're thinking about getting bangs, you kind of can't stop until you actually get bangs. Pardon me while a street sweeper passes my house right now. Stopped right outside my window, of course. But anyway, <laughs> let's, let's move on. Okay, one of the myths about bangs that I wanted to dispel is that they're really high maintenance. That's probably the biggest thing going. Everyone's like, don't get bangs, you'll have to trim them all the time, stuff like that. That may or may not be true, depends on how quick your hair grows. You'll have to wash them all the time. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. It just depends on how oily your hair is. If your hair is quite oily, it is definitely a consideration. You might have to wash them every day, but you don't have to wash all of your hair. You can just wash the bangs. I used to do that once in a while when I had much thicker bangs and I had much oilier hair than I do now. But in general, I would say that it's a myth that it takes a lot more time and effort to style your bangs. To be honest, I think in general it takes less because you're saving time in other ways. And let me tell you what I mean by that. When you have bangs, you can do ponytails, you can push back the rest of your hair with much less effort. So if you are putting in a bit of time combing and maybe even straightening your bangs, my bangs right now are not straightened. You can see I have sort of um, a bit of wave in my hair. I didn't straighten them out just to let you see what they look like like this. And it's totally fine. It takes no time. I just sort of comb them straight down. That's my particular hair texture. But even when I had thicker hair, they honestly were not much more maintenance. But I will tell you where you will save time. If you're trying to do a ponytail, you really don't have to get the front looking so perfect. Like this part does not have to look so perfect and non-bumpy. Like sometimes when you're doing a ponytail, you really have to comb this part back to make it look good or you're trying to pull it to get it just the right amount of poof. You don't have to do that with bangs. You just comb the bangs down and the rest just go bam into a ponytail. It's just really quick and honestly in my opinion and experience a lot easier than people would make it out to sound like and definitely a lot easier than trying to style a really pretty pony with getting the front looking just so. It's actually much quicker with bangs. They also just look really polished. You just do your ponytail, do your low chignon, do a side ponytail and you have these beautiful bangs framing your face, I think it's actually on the whole a lot quicker to do. Another reason that bangs are easy and you should definitely get bangs is that they definitely require less sunscreen, less foundation on your forehead, just less makeup in general. So for instance, when I have my bangs, I can just do a much lighter coating of foundation, sometimes maybe even no foundation if it's sort of, I don't think you're gonna see through my forehead too well. It saves time, if you can believe it or not. You don't have to put quite as much sunscreen. You don't have to get like right up into every crevice of your forehead because they're mostly covered by your bangs although I would suggest using definitely a little bit because as you can see here, if your bangs are not particularly thick, they will split in certain parts and you don't wanna get like a sunburn through your bangs. But I will say it's much less likely to get a sunburn through your bangs than it is through if you just had your forehead completely exposed. So you definitely sound, save time, you save makeup, you save time doing your makeup, you save time putting on sunscreen. So yes, you might be spending a tiny bit more time styling your actual bangs, but you're definitely gonna save it in time spent doing your makeup routine. In the morning, you can kind of just concentrate from your eyebrows down and even just your eyebrows don't need quite, in my experience, if you're wearing a slightly longer bra, uh, sorry, slightly longer bang, you don't need to do your eyebrows quite so perfectly because as you can see here, they're kind of covered. They're kind of covered. So, you know, you probably can't get away with doing no eyebrows if you have very faint eyebrows as I do, but you don't have to spend quite the amount of time getting them absolutely perfect because they're a little bit covered and these bangs and bangs in general just tend to accentuate really your eyes. You just might want to make sure your eye makeup is done a little better because that will definitely be accentuated when you have bangs. Another great thing about bangs and another reason to consider getting them is that they start to hide your wrinkles. And let's be real here. I have some 11s as they call them, which are these lines here when you frown. I am a crazy one for frowning. I have a really deep one here. I have had Botox as I have mentioned in the past. I'm not embarrassed to admit it because I hated that particular wrinkle so much. It was amazing, it worked really well, you know, but Botox is expensive and that is actually, speaking of maintenance things, that is actually quite a bit of money to spend and quite a bit of upkeep trying to go to the dermatologist or wherever you're getting it done. Get it done by someone well, if you're someone who, who really knows what they're doing if you are gonna get Botox. 
It's expensive though, right? And uh, it's just not something that I really want to do right now. So I just have these bangs and they cover them a lot more. And is it perfect? No, do I care? Not really, the bangs are doing a good enough job covering it up so it just saves you a bit of time and a bit of stress if they're really bugging you. Just, there's a saying, bangs are Botox. Sometimes you should just get bangs. Another myth that I want to dispel is that you need to have like really perfect poker straight hair to get bangs. That's absolutely not true. Lots of people have curly bangs and they look bomb. Sandra O, oh, for instance, has been wearing, the actress Sandra O oh from formerly of Grey's Anatomy and I think of Killing Eve right now, has gone with a curly bang and it looks super. So you don't have to have perfectly straight hair. As you can see here, I have wavy hair and so that is a certain look. Often I will straighten them out with a pair, uh, like a really small straight iron. It takes like, 10 seconds, it takes no time. So any myth that it takes a lot of time to style is exactly that, it's a bit of a myth. They don't take very long at all. Uh, even if you have to wash them out, we're talking about like a one minute, maybe two minute thing. They really don't take a lot of time. So just I just wanna to totally dispel that. Another reason to get bangs is that you honestly will never know what they look like until you actually get them. And let me tell you, if you've ever tried the thing where you just like hold up a portion of your hair over your bangs to sort of see, or you take this and you kind of loop it and you kind of just like fold your hair here where your bangs would be, that will give you absolutely zero idea of what you're gonna look like with bangs. It really doesn't work. The only really way to tell if you're gonna like your bangs is to get a pair of bangs, to be completely honest. There almost is no way of faking it. Maybe the only way that would really work would be to get a wig. Not a terrible idea. You can get wigs now for like 40, 50 bucks. And you, if you really are that hesitant to try it out, you can just spend $50 on getting an inexpensive wig and just try it out and see. There are clip-on bangs as well too. You can try that and see. But honestly, just folding your hair, just using the fringe of your ponytail. Some people just like pull up the fringe and just put it on in the front of their hair here. It doesn't approximate it that well. And let me tell you, I tried it a ton and ton of times. The way to do it is just to do it. If you're not too sure though, whether you should get bangs or not, one thing to think about is maybe trying something called a curtain bang. And what a curtain bang is, is just sort of split in the middle. It's a much longer bang. And so you just split it in the middle like this and it tends to be quite a bit longer. And so that's sort of maybe a first, like a baby step to see if you can live with it. But if you really hate things being in your eyes, maybe that's not the best idea. Speaking of things being in your eyes, I wanna talk about the next myth that you hear about bangs that just isn't true, which is that you have to go every three weeks, two to three weeks to get them trimmed. Absolutely not true. That depends on how fast your hair grows. My hair grows so slow, it's crazy. I do not, I've never had to go every two to three weeks, maybe every couple months at most. And it got to the point where my hairdresser at the time was quite far away, it was maybe like an hour away and there was absolutely no bloody way I was spending an hour to get my bangs cut and then an hour coming home. I learned how to do them myself it's a total myth that you have to get them done. You can learn how to do them yourself, but I would just really suggest caution, okay? The thing that you wanna remember when you're taking off your bangs and you're gonna trim them, like if I was gonna trim these, is that you just don't wanna take off too much at a time. And don't look at any of the tutorials that tell you like, here, twist this and then trim it. They tell you to do that, absolutely do not do that. I've tried that, doesn't work. I can tell you from lots of experience, it doesn't work. I'm gonna tell you the best way or the best kind of tutorial to look for, because this is not gonna be, I'm not gonna cut my hair right now. I just had my bangs cut, I cannot cut them at the moment. Any shorter than they are, because I'm really happy with the length there. But I'm gonna tell you about the best way to do it. Do not use any crappy pair of scissors. You wanna just go and get an actual pair of hair cutting scissors you don't need a professional pair because those cost actually a lot of money, but you just want to get an inexpensive pair from the drugstore like this. What you want to do is point cut your bangs if you are going to be cutting your bangs. So you're just going to take a small port, you know, you're going to try and maybe, if you like, the easiest way is have these ones stay longer and just concentrate on the ones that are really poking you in the eye if you're just trying to get a, a bit of time uh, between sessions of having to see your hairdresser. And so, of course, you would never cut this much off, right? So you're going to bring your fingers way, way, way low low, 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 and you're just gonna take off the tiniest amount and you're not ever gonna cut across like this. It's so important, don't cut across like this. Do what your hairdresser does. You've seen them point cutting and that means just taking off little bits this way. So you're just gonna be putting your scissor this way and you're just gonna be trimming off the tiniest of tiny amounts, okay? So you're gonna do this. You need to have a bit of patience if you don't know how to cut hair. You might have to do it three times, but just take off the absolute minimal amount. Minimal amount 
just keep going a teeny bit, a teeny bit, and if you're making it too uneven, just stop, because that means you're not doing a really good job of it. Just stop yourself there, do not go too short, just call it a day and just go and see a hairdresser. You don't even have to see your own hairdresser, you can go to a different hairdresser. Definitely specify though, you just want the tiniest of trims because you do not want your bangs up there or you know the middle of your forehead, that's not what this is about. It's just about getting it to the point where it's not poking you in the eyes and just trying to tide you over until your next visit to your hairdresser. That's definitely what I have done for years and it works really well. Seek out a YouTube tutorial about cutting your bangs. Just like I said, avoid those ones where they're trying to twist it or they're telling you to blunt cut it. Do not blunt cut it, that, will look, that won't look good. That's definitely a recipe for having them all different lengths. You wanna do the point cutting. So just make sure you get a tutorial where they're showing you how to point cut the bangs. Definitely take up just a teeny tiny amount at a time, right? They say to do it when wet, you can definitely do it when it's wet, but just remember when it's wet, it's longer than when it's gonna be dry. So those are my those are my hot tips about bangs and my myths. I hope that I've dispelled lots of them for you. If you have any questions about bangs, definitely let me know. I've had a lot of bangs over the years. It's a hairstyle that I keep returning to time and time again. You know, these ones right now are okay. They're not as thick as I might like them. I might get them done a bit thicker, but my hair is a lot thinner. So they're already starting from about there. That's something to think about as well. So, you know, I couldn't really, there's not much more hair to get, but I'm pretty happy with them. They're pretty versatile. I can sort of split them like this. I can comb them off to the side. That's one of the benefits of having thinner, thinner bangs. I'm really loving them. So I wanna know what you think. Are you about to get bangs? Do you love bangs? Do you hate bangs? Do you think they're not for you? Let me know in the comments. Remember to like if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. I do a lot of these hair videos and so when you subscribe to this one, I'll see that and I'll know that you like this kind of content and I'll make more of it. Thanks so much everyone, bye.